Maybe rainbow. Huh. That little red stripe is so hard to see. We'll get bigger. Nope. Oh, he came off. Looks like he was on the Duracell. No, he was probably on the, the blowtorch. The Duracell is fouled. All right. Fish are eating what we're throwing, so that's good. But, well, that one's a little better than zero. Oh, uh, darn. That was like an eight incher. <laughs> oh man, gotta be more aggressive with these things. Another decent fish, at least so far, decent dish. It wasn't huge. Swing there. And a little rainbow. Gorgeous.
So today's a special fishing day. Today's Mother's Day. And it's also my 13th wedding anniversary to Crystal. And since she's the best wife in the world, she wanted to continue the tradition of going fishing on her anniversary. So here we are. We're at Black Rock fishing Mill Creek. Looking for some wild native rainbows. Maybe even a late steelhead or supposedly there's spring run salmon in here, so. So far we've only found some small ones and one decent fish, so. The water's a little off colored. Snow melt is still happening up in the mountains. So I'm using bright imitate or bright uh, tractor patterns. So far they seem keyed into orange. I've got them on glow torches and uh, this new rubber legs with orange legs I made just to spice things up a little bit. Oh, huh. that's funny. That fish ate that a long time ago. Little bitty baby. little one. Looks like the blowtorch is doing well today. This one's really pretty. Look at all that color. There's one. Ooh, come off. I think that was a good hook set. These fish are very talented at coming off.
heck? Double. Crystal! <laughs> Can you see my, the fish? Oh, it came off, I thought I had two on. That little guy crushed it. Finally got one on a draft. a decent fish. I actually got a decent one. Well, maybe. No. <laughs> it felt bigger. These fish are so chrome. That was a good fish. Still have that fly, right? I think it broke off. Turn it. Oh. <laughs> I just let it sit there and skate on the water. I held it against the current. Oh, I connected. <laughs> oh, I came off. No, he's still on. I think. Oh, he's so little. No kidding. It's 
Might be the smallest trout I've ever caught. Get bigger. Everybody, thanks for watching and celebrating my anniversary with us. Crystal and I did an overnight fishing trip on Squaw Valley Creek for our anniversary last year, so we kept the tradition going and we fished another small creek this year. The weather's been fully warmed up and we're definitely into wet waiting season, and with that, we need to start thinking about sunscreen, bug spray, and maybe a big wide brim hat. We've fished Mill Creek closer to Lassen before, and we've had this lower section on our list of places to fish after the opener, and we finally got down there. I did catch a few fish over 12 inches, with the best being a 14 incher, but by far most of them were 6 to 8 inches. They seemed to eat pretty much all the nymphs we offered, but the blowtorch caught most of them by far. Uh, the water was off colored from spring runoff, so I could have tight lined most of this, but I wanted to work on my indicator fishing, and that seemed to have a lot of luck today. Uh, the small creek makes it easier to get off the bank, and it's easier to cast, not having to be next to the willows. I recently switched to cork indicators, and they're my favorite by far. They seem to cast nearly as well as yarn, but are much more buoyant, so they seem like a really good compromise between sensitivity and flotation. As the sun got low, a crazy PMD hatch went off, and the fish were feasting on the surface. I don't have a big selection of dries yet, so I was casting an atoms, and the fish were eager to eat it. They, they took it on the dead drift, they took it on the swing, it was a ton of fun. So again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my fishing equipment or my video gear, I have links to everything in the description. And if you'd like to follow along with me in real time, look me up on Instagram. I post up pictures, I've got video clips, fun stuff, I'll share on my story so you don't have to wait for me to get these videos edited. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I try to post a new one every week. And in the next one, I continue my waterfall series and look for fish under Bernie Falls. Until then everybody, Godspeed.